the Mercedes-Benz Interview Lounge. I'm so excited about this moment. We interview everyone. Yeah. But sometimes we interview people that we really want to meet. Right. Today, Geralise. Maybe call you Geralise or just Elise. So what do you prefer? Elise is good. Okay. <laughs> I saw your Facebook video, and it totally, totally moved me. And you have a lot of friends. <laughs> Geralise, you have a lot of friends who have been contacting us, and they said, well, you're on Geralise's bucket list. Yeah. I'm like, well, why does Geralise have a bucket list? Who is Geralise? Can you tell us why you have a bucket list? Um, basically, at the age of 16, I was uh, diagnosed with a rare cancer. Well, I have osteosarcoma, but the location's in my spine. So I'm like literally one in a million. <laughs> like it's, I've never heard of anybody who has what I have. I know, but usually when people are told they're one in a million, it's a compliment. But yeah. this, this, right. this, <laughs> me, this like, time, oh. not so much. Yeah, so... Uh, I just was doing all like the medical treatments. Some of them would work, but then it would come back. It's really a strong cancer. And then I got told, I think a couple about a month or two or three ago, that I uh, they can't really do anything else. Uh, maybe we could try clinical trials, but it's a long shot. So uh, I just said budget, and I'm gonna live my life. I'm gonna do what I want to do. I'm not gonna make myself sick. I'm just I'm going to make myself happy. <laughs> well, thank you for saying the word life. fudge yeah, and not the other <laughs> word. Let, 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 me play, let me play a piece of your Facebook video. Yeah. The sure. audio. I want everyone to hear this. Hi, everybody. This is Geralise Schihano. Today, I went to another doctor to try to get another opinion, and I basically got nothing. <laughs> I got offered other locations that might be able to help, but it ju- it just seems like I'm a lost cause. Like there's nothing that's going to be out there to help me and it doesn't make me feel very good. Like I I want to get better. I want to live my life with the person that I love and do everything that I've always dreamed of happening, like every girl's wish. But instead, I have to see about clinical trials that I don't even know would work. I just want to live my life, but I'm also living So I must assume that of- it's just on and on and on. And it, you get to a point, Geralise, where you're like, Ugh. I'm so tired of trying to preserve my life. I just want to live my life. And that's where you are right now. Yeah. Yeah. So I made a bucket list, like some crazy ideas, but at least I wrote them down, you know, and uh, everyone's just coming in for me. They're, They're trying their best to do the things on my list or they're giving them to me or they're donating and I can't be any more grateful for them. To be a part of this journey, just to put a smile on my face. Well, let's talk about your bucket list. I was okay. talking to her dad about his the bucket list. Her dad goes, she was putting these things on her list, and I'm just like, I don't know if these could possibly happen. He said, and they actually are happening, which is amazing. <laughs> yeah. Well, so far on the bucket list, things you've accomplished. Hawaii. Yes. Right? Wow. Uh, you went to a, a red sand beach, a black sand beach. You swam in the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. Yeah. You swam with sea turtles. That was awesome. You went to the Hollywood sign. Yeah. Which is kind of boring. It's like a, like a bunch of letters, right? <laughs> but you, I wanna, guess, you know, it's you, you wanna say, in I get the it. movies. I get yeah, it. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You went to the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Yes. Did you see my star? Honestly, so many of them were covered up. Like, I'm in love with Keanu Reeves, okay? Oh, you want that? So, and he was covered up. You're, you're married to this hot guy over there. So, why, uh, why are you messing with Keanu so I Reeves? I never got to see him, so I was like, oh, right, okay. Well, but it's okay. I got to see everybody else. You've been to Beverly Hills? <laughs> yes. Which is so beautiful. Yeah, gorgeous. Yeah. So next on your bucket list is you want to go to Montauk. Yeah. Uh, which is the last city before you yeah, like, go I've to the... I've lived on this island for 19 years and I've never been there. <laughs> you should wow. go. As you know, Long Island, not to be too graphic, it's like a penis. It just sticks out. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, really? It's, it's pointing toward London. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so here's our deal. We have friends at Gurney's, which is a fantastic, beautiful resort, Montauk. We're sending you there. What? Yeah. They have two resorts. They have there is they have oh a resort. God. They have a resort in Montauk. They also have one in uh, Rhode Island. Yes, and another one in Montauk. They've got two in Montauk alone. I mean, if, choose your choose your resort. All right, we got that covered for you. 
Oh my God! Thank you. You want to see a Broadway <laughs> show? Hello, you're in New York. I mean, how difficult is that? It's, <laughs> yeah. You have so, Broadway. Uh, you have a Broadway show on your bucket list. It's yes. Uh, well, actually, this Saturday, me and him are going to see Pretty Woman because I love that movie. Ooh. Okay, you're nice. Right. Okay. And uh, actually, someone else actually also surprised me with Lion King, and I get to go backstage and meet Ooh, them too. You'll love that's Lion King. Wow. Yeah. I'm so grateful okay. about that too. So on your bucket list, whale watching. Okay. I like marine animals. If I like wasn't in this chair and I could live my life, I would have probably been at a marine institute somewhere. So how long have you been in a wheelchair? And I actually could walk about two months ago, and it just happened like this. Wow. wow. So if you tried to stand up and walk now, what would happen? I'm going to fall. <laughs> we don't just, want that. No. I mean, the only re- on this show, the only reason we fall is we've had too much to drink. So. <laughs> but I see you, you need an electric wheelchair on your bucket list. Yeah. What I, is that? I mean, how much um, are those? There, well, the, there's some that are like the big ones, you know, like those are like the ones that you go to in the grocery store. Yeah. But obviously I, I have a little tiny Honda Civic, so that's not going to fit in my car. <laughs> so there's this one called an Easy Light Cruiser, uh, and it literally folds up like a beach chair and it comes with like And it's electric? You can carry it in a bag. How much it's are electric. those? They're like $2,500. All right, done. We're going to buy you one. What else? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I mean, have a, me cry. I mean, everything you want is on Amazon. <laughs> Don't, believe, Don't you love Amazon? I love how she has it. She wants zombie makeup. I what, have what? that. I'm so excited. You're getting you zombie makeup? That? I love Walking Dead. Like, oh. if I could go and go like, I will. Yeah. <laughs> I, love I got it. to go there and they get zombie makeup on me. It was the coolest thing. It's You're going to awesome. love it. Yeah. Okay, well, hold on one second. Back up. The yeah. electric wheelchair. Yeah. You'll give us information. Yeah. Well, it's here. I well, sent it to Andrew. Well, we'll send you one. <laughs> she's like, okay. Oh, I'm so okay. shy. Like, I always worry about... You want to go to Las Vegas? <laughs> well, you know, like, in the movies, they're, like, in, like, Hangover, and I'm like, oh, I want to go there. But, of course, you know, it's not like I can gamble or drink, but at least I could go there and be like, hey, I went to the Eiffel Tower. What's up? <laughs> you know what? She, wants, she, she also has the Eiffel Tower on her bucket she list. Does, well, you, could, the, you can do two yeah, of them at the same time. Both, so we, we have two Eiffel Towers on the planet Earth. Well, look. We have the iHeartRadio Music Festival coming up in Las Vegas. We're going to send you to that. Oh, oh my God. i got to be honest. You're wearing me out. <laughs> We're going to get this list taken care of. Come uh, on. Let's see. You want to go to Vegas? So we're sending you there. Um, yeah. The Eiffel Tower is in Vegas, so we like. Yeah, that's, two, what, that's yeah. why I put them like. Yeah, there, like, two right birds, one stone. I love that. It's not the real Eiffel Tower, but no, you should you one. you should you should get over to Paris. The food is fantastic. Yeah, it Froggy, is? what's up? I feel like I'd you know. be like trying to like Google their language. Like I can't say. Yeah, they, they, speak, <laughs> they speak English there. They yeah. do. Yes, Froggy, what's up? You know, Elvis, if she wants to whale watch, we could. Uh, we've got some connections on uh, on Norwegian Cruise Line. We could oh, put her on Bliss, and she could go whale watching. Yeah, All right. really? we can do that. We can make that happen. Oh, awesome. <laughs> wow. well, I can be honest with you. You also have in your bucket list meet Ellen DeGeneres. I, I have no connections well, there. Well, I did you know that. Uh, is, that's just because I like to watch the show. Like I know, like there's people in the ba- the seats, so I'm looking into that. Well, she's, well she's our awesome. old intern Corey, who was my intern for years, is her guest booker. So I emailed Corey, so he hasn't gotten back to me yet because they're on vacation right now. So we're waiting to see if there's a possibility that maybe you could at least go to a show or something. For me, it's so, just worth the try. Yes. So, I love what you. you just did. What you just what? did. You, you, you said, well, basically, we're going to send you to Ellen, but we haven't booked it. So she we gets haven't. credit. She gets credit no, for I sending wanted, Ellen. I want to know we're trying. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, okay, look, there's a lot of stuff on your bucket list. Let's talk about why everyone should have a bucket list. Look. They should. Geralise, you're in a position in your life where you you are in a race to live life to the fullest. Yeah, because you I was just actually uh, sold about a year and a half. Maybe. You have a year and a half left on this planet? Yeah. So, so my point is this. For everyone who's listening who doesn't have a year and a half, they have maybe 50, 60 years, they should be living. We should all be living our living lives. Living their lives to the fullest and live their life for them no not for anybody else love yourself and make a bucket list do yeah. it do it little by little do it with the people that you love so when you are old and wrinkly with your husband you're like yeah i did this i remember this and you can tell your grandchildren that or and you're tr- you know everybody you know just live your life i love, love that put a smile on your face because mm-hmm. that's what matters i have 
having having children on my bucket list. As you, you can hear, I just gave birth to a child here in, <laughs> in the studio. I know, but you know what? Look, I don't want to. I don't want to treat this lightly. This is a heavy, heavy thing. And your your family's here. Your husband is here. Yeah. <laughs> and, and here you are sitting in a wheelchair in our studio talking about how you have a year and a half possibly to live, but it looks as if you are living life to the fullest. And I think we can all learn from you. I am. Yeah. I, I feel like I am. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just not letting anything stop me. Most definitely Elvis. Uh, this is your dad, by the way. Yeah. I, if Unless you've not met him before. <laughs> <laughs> he is a huge inspiration. She's been... My buddy, my best friend all my life, and the toughest person, woman that I know. And I was in the Marines. She is my number one and the best. And I'm thankful for everyone that's doing everything that they can on this uh, bucket list. Because I really didn't think it was going to happen. It was very difficult. But it's happening, and it's an incredible journey, and I'm so happy for her, and thank all of you. Oh, it's a, please. I mean, this is an honor to have you guys here today. And to have us on your bucket, it's right here on the bucket list. It says, where is it? Bottom, Elvis Duran. Meet Elvis Duran from Z100. I'm thinking, really? <laughs> I I've met him. It's not to that you great. For so yeah. long. <laughs> Sorry if I've disappointed you. But d- to be included on a bucket list with get a tattoo. Did you get a cat tattoo, by the yes, way? Yes, I did. Oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> Dad is not. Dad happy. goes, she got three. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Cut, cut her a little slack. It's okay. <laughs> oh, no, I know. I call her tattoo now. <laughs> But to be included on a list of all these incredible things you, you want to see and experience in life is, I mean, hello, <laughs> we're on your bucket list. Really? I, uh... Stop it. If I could <laughs> say something, uh... You might not be listening, but Keanu Reeves, I love you. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> you are such an amazing actor, character, I... You're the bomb diggity. I love you. So. Okay, Jerry, so I have to be honest. I, I, he's not really working a lot. In these yeah, days, I don't know. He? Maybe he has. I, bet, I bet he has nothing to do. He oh, should, my gosh. He should drive on over to the studio. <laughs> but to be on your bucket list with me, Keanu Reeves, and go to the Eiffel Tower, Jerry, I mean, what an honor. Thank but God, beyond that, as, as we've talked about, the fact that you are living, yeah. you are living your life, knowing that your life is very, very volatile and very fragile the rest of us are walking around like eh, there's nothing going on and we're not taking life as seriously yeah. as we should and I'm, i don't want anything negative to happen to anybody but it can happen tomorrow like you yeah. never know like you have no idea when it's going to happen whether you're going to get sick or tomorrow or something you know you know things happen so like imagine looking back and you're like oh yeah i did this and i laid in bed and i watched netflix all day no, like, go out. Go hang out with your friends. Go see a concert. Do something. So you could look back and be like, yeah, like, I lived in my life. I didn't just Netflix and chill or something. Well, I could be honest. Netflix and chill is kind of fun. <laughs> Every now and then. But you have a bigger smile on your face than people I know that have nothing going on. You know what I right. mean? Like, it's just amazing to me. And it's like your dad said, it really is inspiring. So it says here you want to meet Daryl from The from, Walking uh, Dead. From Walking Dead. Uh, yeah, uh, I sound like I can just hang out with him and like, but uh, it's uh, called Walker Soccer and it's in New Jersey. So uh, I get, I get, I would, I'm just gonna call it like a zombie con, like a zombie yeah. convention or something. So he's gonna be there and he's signing autographs and taking pictures. So if I'm even able to just be like, hi, I love you, it's worth it. <laughs> That's Norman Reedus, right? Yeah, yeah. Norman, Norman Reedus. Reedus is, yep. is All right. Well, really we don't know him, but we'll try to meet him. We'll try to figure it out. Um, you know what's going on as well in Las Vegas is the, the fear, the walking dead survival. It's like this new attraction in Vegas. So when you go to the iHeartRadio Music Festival, I want you to go visit that too. Cool. Oh, I, I've never even heard of that, yeah. actually. Yeah, you, you yeah, got it's stuff new. To do. It's new. We have a list for you. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're going to give you a list I'll now. Yeah. <laughs> you don't have time to leave us because we have a list of a lot of things you have to do. Okay. But you've been to Clearwater Marine Aquarium. 
yes, that was awesome, and I love winter. Like, she's, like I said, I would have been a marine biologist, and just seeing her, like, what she survived, and it kind of feels like me, like, I don't have my legs, and she's still swimming no matter what she has a tail or not, so wow. it was a great inspiration wow. to see her. So you want to go to New Orleans? Yeah. Like, you know, I don't know, I just, I... Watched, it's great. I used to watch the so-called Vampire Diaries, and I saw it there, and I was like, oh, that's yeah. really cool. Like, there's like a, I don't know, it's like voodoo and stuff like there that. Is, there is there. I mean, there is certain it's areas. Almost like, yeah. it's, and almost stuff. Like, it's almost like Satan lives on the streets there, which is, okay. it, it's kind of fun to be on the street with him, but not, ha- not dance with him. <laughs> not dance with him. <laughs> New Orleans is great. The food is mm-hmm. fantastic. Yeah, you've been there. Uh, you she are, she oh. also wants to visit uh, the shelter. Oh, well. uh. I watch Animal Planet. Like I said, animals. I love animals. Uh, And it's called Villa Lobos Rescue Center. It's in New Orleans. And uh, they basically rescue pit bulls and animals that, you know, are abandoned and abused. And they rehabilitate them and give them the loving families. Hey, Charlize, let me ask you a question. The list, this bucket list, which has actually become very famous online, was this written before you were diagnosed? I mean, Actually, no. So... It takes a diagnosis of something to hit you like, oh my God! To it's sad because it's like a my uh, my great grandma passed away in May, um, yeah, and I was just so sick I wasn't even able to really spend time with her, and I guess once I lost her, I told myself I'm gonna live my life for her, so then she can have a smile, you know, in heaven with God and. And be like, that's my baby girl, like that's my princess. So, the moment she passed away, I just told myself, like, no, like you're not just gonna sit here and cry and mope around and and wish life was different because it's not gonna happen. You're just gonna live your life and make a list and hope for the best. And ever since then, loving people have just been on my side. So, wow, yeah. Well, Geraldine, we look over at someone like Straight Nate. And you look at his body. He's going to live forever. No, I don't know about that. <laughs> you, you, now, so, I mean, for all of us who have not been diagnosed with something like you've been diagnosed with, why are we not making a list? Why are we not living our lives? I, I'm just so inspired today. I'm going to, we're on a flight today. We're yeah. going to Iowa. I'm writing a list. I'm taking an hour to write a list and do all of the things that I want to do in my life. Because like you said, you don't know. You don't know when something happens that you're not going to be able to. Yeah, to live. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we're living, we live in New York City. God knows a piano could just fall out of a window. Exactly. (laughs) They do every day. I mean, it's New York. Hello. So make your list. All right. Start college. You, Um, you're, it's on your list. I'm starting at SUNY Old Westbury, September 4th. And I can't wait because I love school. You do? Yes, I do. You know, most people in school right now are going, why? I love writing notes. I love learning new things. That's how I've been. I've always been like a straight A student. And yeah, I'm going to start college. So, wow. So what about this guy sitting next to you, uh, Vinny? Or Jesse. I'm no, I, Vinny? I, I, I Who read, is Vinny? I don't know, Vinny. So you're married to Jesse, but you're having an affair with Vinny? <laughs> so, Jesse. What, what do you think? I mean, I think what, what do you think is going on here? I mean, how are you feeling about all this? It's just a lot, but, you know. It's got to be it's gotta be devastating, but in, inspirational at the same time. It kind of doesn't feel like she's sick because she doesn't act like it, and she won't show you it, you know what I mean? She won't let nothing get in her way, nothing like that. And how long have you two been together? Uh, uh, we almost started, three years now. We started dating in high school of 2015. Oh, wow. So you're uh, We were actually dating lovers. only one month, and he chose to stay with me, and he has stayed at the hospital, has walked from the station all the way to Sloan Memorial Kettering. He has wiped my poop. <laughs> Really? <laughs> That's how much this man oh. loves me. He carries me to the bathroom since I can't walk. He will do anything for me. And honestly, without him, I have no idea how I would have got through it. Oh Just knowing like, Ugh. okay, Jesse's coming today to the hospital. I'm going to be okay. Ugh. Every single day, he he pushed me through. He really oh, did. Jesse, oh, you're, Jesse. Wow. You're amazing. Thank you. Oh, who's this? Who's this child over here? <laughs> that is my Mario. little sister. Who is that? What's her name? She is Kaylani. She's Kaylani. 
She's What's up? Fast. She's learning to walk, so she wants to go. She yeah. just wants to go. Well, we got plenty of room. Right? You uh, want to go? I think she went number two because it's thinking. <laughs> <laughs> That was me. I think that was me. I'm sorry. Thank God Jesse's here. Yes. Jesse, you can, you, you can wipe me too. It's all good. I'm lucky, Jesse. Jesse, it's your day. Well, I, I got to say, uh, Jerrilise, it's, it's it's a pleasure to meet you. And we were on vacation uh, about a week ago. I was out of town, and I, and I heard your story. I saw your bucket list. I'm like, why would she not come see us? Yeah. Because these are the stories that our listeners need to hear. And it does smell like someone pooed in here. What's up? Yeah, right. <laughs> What's up honey, you're going to be famous forever. <laughs> okay, so we made some promises to you today. We're, we, we have to get this electric wheelchair, which I'm excited okay. about. Thank you. And let's so rev much. it up. Let's have like the Mercedes company like rev it up. Yeah. So you're like, <laughs> you're drive, like 65 I, miles an hour. I, down the I don't know how I'm okay. going to thank you guys enough, but just know that I'm never going to forget you guys. So. Well, and we appreciate that, but you don't owe us any sort of gratitude because we owe it to you because you were teaching us a very important lesson today. And that's make a list and live your life. Mm-hmm. I want to know what's on your list today. <gasps> well, meeting you is on it. <laughs> <laughs> Getting married to Alex, by the way, who works at this Titan Island Zoo. You have a connection there. Yes. Uh, I, I, I don't, her friend. Uh, yes, exactly. So many people have been helping me, but uh, yeah, she commented on or gave her, you know, posted something for her and she saw it and yeah, so thank you. For you love animals. Fiance. Have you been? Have you been to the uh, Staten Island Zoo? No, I you gotta go. We're gonna go to the Bronx Zoo. There's a, there's another set. set. Yeah, we, oh, we, Staten Island. Sorry, yeah, no, I've never been there. You gotta go. It's beautiful. Okay, gotta go. And we have an end there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, just a little bit. <laughs> just a little. Okay, end. so <laughs> we're getting this 65 mile per hour wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. Maybe this is a bad idea. Uh, you got to go to Las Vegas. We're taking care of that. You're, you said you want to gamble. Really? I'm going to do that with uh, probably my grandma in Aruba because I'm only 19. But I don't know. I'd, something to do. Like, okay. I've watched my dad, like, play poker. Like, we, my <laughs> favorite is, like, you throw the ball much. and it lands on the number and it goes around. Roulette. 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 Yeah. Yeah. My, uh, so, I would go with uh, my friend Gabriella Rothberg to Mohegan Sun. Yeah. And, like, I would always, we'd get, we had, like, this little fake one that we got from the arcade. No, not good enough for yeah. you. So here's another thing to add to your bucket list, a fake ID so yeah. you can go. No. <laughs> we got to get her a fake ID. Oh, my gosh. All right, so whale watching, right? Froggy, Norwegian in, Bliss. Yes, you have to yes, the bliss. I will, yes, I will get a hold of Andy at, uh, at at Norwegian Cruise Line, and we will make sure that you can go whale watching. And we're sending you to Gurney's in Montauk. Yes, you're, you're going. Okay. Oh, place I is can't wait. I love Montauk. I mean, I see pictures all the time. It's such a pleasure to meet you and your family. Even Why your little sister you? who pooed in our... Uh, <laughs> Wait, now there's two people that pooed in here. Greg Kalani T. and Greg T. <laughs> it's so sad. I, we had a grown man poo right over here. That's why we have a new piece of carpeting over here. It's, it's just embarrassing. Too much information. It's embarrassing. Oh, you know, I'm just thinking about... Oh, I'm thinking God. that if my doctors told me, live your life, you only have maybe a year and a half left, I don't know. I don't know what I would do. But being with you, I think I have a clearer picture of what we should all be doing, and that's living our lives. Congratulations. You're Thank awesome. You. You're awesome. And yeah, don't let also. anything stop you. And yeah. like I said, she's the strongest person I know. And she's love amazing. yourself. Don't be like, oh, my God, like, I don't have blonde hair like that girl. Like, no, you got brunette hair. You beautiful. Hey. <laughs> okay? I'm You're that. beautiful. <laughs> live your life. It's it's your life. You're not living. I'm not going to live it for my dad. If I want to get a tattoo on my forehead, I'm going to get a tattoo on my forehead. Oh, my God. my life. Look at dad's face. You're breaking his heart. You're breaking his heart over there. <laughs> live it for you. I and- love that. Jerry. I'm going to get a freaking tattoo on my head. <laughs> Yeah, and she the, should have know, told you I what mean, tattoo it was, too. Oh, oh, no. Off the air. <laughs> oh, yeah, please. But, uh, you know, just seeing, living with them, making memories with my family, seeing my little sister grow up, because I have actually written letters for all my family members, like her, for her wedding day, for her graduation, oh. for his graduation. Where are these letters? Who's keeping those? Who's in charge? Um, he's in charge to give them out, and so is my dad. They're, uh, they're in my little... Love thing with the key. 
I don't know. Well, a file cabinet with a key. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, just to yeah. have to sit down and write those. Just because I, I mean, feel just... like I'm also doing videos with them so they can hear my voice. Like, yeah. They can hear what I have, you know, what I have to say. And no matter what, if they're having a bad day, look back and just know that I still love them and I'm there. Another reason we yeah. love doing this show is our voices are recorded and we will, we'll, we're will we all going to live forever. No matter if we have a year and a half, two years mm-hmm. with me, maybe three <laughs> oh, I mean, no. I'm, you I'm have serious. to live your life like even if you can make a, a mark on on one person's heart just you know give a man that doesn't have a home some money and you uh, you know made a mark on his heart like you did that so you can't ever forget that every life has meaning like no matter what so you know i was telling friends that you're coming in today and they were saying oh my gosh that's this is going to be a very difficult interview and i gotta be very honest, this has been the easiest, most pleasurable interview I've ever done. <laughs> it's great. You should add to your list, radio morning show host. <laughs> <laughs> I That's think you should, cool. you should do like this. It. And you're just a beautiful person inside and out. So you, you have a beautiful soul and you can tell. So, you Thank know, you. it's nice. I don't want you to leave. I know. <laughs> can we keep you? <laughs> can, can we keep her? If she can be an intern, let me know. I'll bring her in. <laughs> well, Jesse, Jesse, we have two Jessies in there. Yeah. Yeah. That's Isn't how that much funny? she loves me. I... She married a Jesse. Is that kind of creepy that you're like married to a guy named the I same name as your father? Like, yeah, she always says it was like, just like. So when I'm looking at him and he's doing something, I'm like, oh, my dad does that. <laughs> Oh but my lord! What's, what's even harder is her calling me babe. I sometimes. know. <laughs> <laughs> and then I call him dad sometimes. I'm oh, like, this is all oh, so sorry. creepy. This is creepy. And what's Ricky. Even actually and Mario's funny. here too. Yeah. Mario's here as well. And thank you guys so much for coming in. Thank you, Charlie. Thank you. Thank okay, you. so if you want to follow, follow, follow the, the story of Jerry's, uh Go to Elvis Duran's Instagram. Oh, that's me. I'm talking about me in the third person. <laughs> Go to this guy, Elvis Duran's Instagram, and uh, we have all the info there. And thank you for coming in. And by the way, we have a list of things for you to get done here. So Can't thank you enough. Right. You have lots to do. This wheelchair thing, though. I mean, we're, we're, who do we call for a, a, like a really fast, fun wheelchair? We'll find out. Come on, straight Nate. A fast, yeah, I mean, fun. I know, like, the, <laughs> obviously, of course, there's like the easy light cruiser dot com or whatever. So there's that one. Then some come up like they look cheaper, but then what if I don't know if it's like working well? Like, right. Why no, is no. it cheaper? You know? Oh, no. So, yeah. We have to get you the Rolls Royce. Yes. Of, the the <laughs> Rolls Royce. Right. What are you looking at? I'm on the website right now. Oh, we're at Easy Light Cruiser. Oh, it's oh lightweight God. and durable. Yeah. So I, I don't even need one, it. but I want one. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't need a wheelchair, but I want one because it looks like. Oh, they have. Oh, the deluxe model. I basically just, I want to be independent, you know, like, I know. he carries me everywhere. Oh, he's so good. Everywhere to my wheelchair. If I could, like, go to the kitchen counter and, like, we can hang out and make dinner without him having to carry me and hold me there, I I need it. I need some sorts of independence. And I'm yeah. honest, it, lately, being like that, being a girl who was a dancer, a soccer player, I was independent, fast, doing things the way I wanted done. <laughs> Now I can't. It's like I'm like all like anxiety. Like, oh, my God, I got it done. I got it. You're not doing it right. You're not folding the towel. Right? So I can't help it because I want to be free. I want to be independent. And I'm searching for that because if I could walk down the street and pretend like I'm walking, I'm going to do it. Oh, wow. You know, time alone. Like, yeah. But Jerry's. Appreciate the fact that you can walk down the street and have some fresh air, you know, and run, dance. Do sauce in the morning while you're like getting your makeup done. Just do it because yeah. appreciate it because it can a month like two months and I can't feel my toes. So wow, wow, yeah. As much as you do want to be independent and do your own thing, having a guy like Jesse hugging you and holding you, there's got to be some wonderful, wonderful connection there as well. Yeah. So he drives me crazy sometimes, but yeah. I know he's supposed to. Yeah, he's supposed That's to. what husbands do. <laughs> That's part of the yeah. Yeah, part of the sorry. Deal. <laughs> I drive him crazy back. So yeah, it's okay. exactly. It's okay. Oh, yeah. Driving I each other it. nuts is a part of it. <laughs> all right, we have to take a break, but I just want to say thank you, thank it, you. all of you. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you. This thank has you. been one of the, a highlight of my career is having you in here. Thank you. You're fabulous. All right, like I said, we have a list of things you have to do here. Go ahead and sign that to. 
Like, it's legally binding. You have to do these things. Okay. All right. Geralise, thank you for coming in. If you want to follow along, go to Elvis Duran, uh, at Elvis Duran on Instagram, and uh, you can learn more about Geralise and her family story.